<clears throat> How much time? You're on. I love scotch. Scotchy, scotchy, scotch. Mmm, scotch in my tummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. How are you? You look awfully nice today. Maybe next time, don't use true nas. How much time until the newsletter comes out? They released it already. What? It's out. We're live. Go. It's already out? <clears throat> Good evening, I'm Stefano Partita and welcome to the Unraid April Digest. Unraid 6.12.10 is now available with new bugs, fixes, improvements, and security updates. Some of those updates include things like resolving issues with mounting SMB shares via the unassigned devices plugin, issues where drives were missing when using the AS Media Controllers, a detection for insufficient pool slots during an import of a pool with missing devices, a new kernel version, and much more. Unraid 6.13 Beta 2 has been privately released for beta testing and will be available to the public sometime soon. Some of the features that you can expect to see with that are going to be hybrid ZFS pools, VM cloning, snapshot support, integrated ARC GPU support. There's going to be a new and improved dashboard that looks pretty cool in my opinion if beta 1 is anything to go off of. We're also going to get an integrated file manager as well as an integrated proxy manager. I think that's what's going to be a big one so I believe that means we don't have to use Nginx proxy anymore. So more to come on that in the future. Tom from Lawrence Systems joined Ed on the Uncast show where they talked about ZFS and everything that you pretty much need to know about it. And I would highly recommend going to the Uncast channel and checking out that podcast and learning more about ZFS. If you have any questions at all, I think you'll find the answers there. Speaking of podcasts, Adam Morales, and for those of you that don't remember, he's the VP of support for Unraid. He actually appeared on episode 120 of the self-hosted podcast. So if you were interested at all what they may have discussed on that podcast, definitely be sure to give that a listen. And you'll find links for that, by the way, in the video description below or within the newsletter itself. Speaking of Unraid employees, a new one joins the team as a technical program manager. His name is Nick Betancourt, and the man's into DIY, and he's also part of the self-hosted gang. Be sure to head over to the forums, give a warm welcome to the Unraid team and community. The LinkStation N1 is now available on Amazon, and for anyone who may not know what this device is, it's a device that comes with Unraid pre-installed onto a USB thumb drive that's internal to the unit. Also, it's meant to be an all-flash-based unit, so two 2.5-inch uh, SSDs as well as four NVMe drives but you can actually use 2.5 inch hard drives instead if you don't want to use all flash for your Unraid device. And with future updates coming to Unraid, you will actually be required to have an Unraid array. There'll be more on that in the future, so be sure to stay tuned to the Uncast show and all your other favorite channels because there will be more information about all of the features that this unit has to offer, including the features that Unraid will also offer in the future. Lastly, don't forget to go check out Alien Tech 42's YouTube channel where he shows us how to install, configure, and use the Melee app that's being hosted on the Unraid server. And with all that being said, I wanna thank each and every one of you for watching and be sure to like and subscribe if you wanna see more content like this in the future. Good night.